Hi class, welcome to um, the near end of the term. Uh, so this week you'll be working on uh, the final project and finishing up the final project and submitting the final project this week. So I quickly just want to go through everything um, for this week for module nine. Again, you'll be working on the collection manager program. This is your final project. You'll be uh, basically connecting all the different pieces you've been working on, the recipe class, the ingredient class, the recipe box class, and now the driver class and you'll be connecting these um, for your uh, final project and we'll go over that a little bit more in a second uh, so you also will be given the stepping stone lab six solutions um, so this will be good to look at um, and use uh, um, as a reference for your final project uh, so this is important so you'll for this final project you'll have to submit java documentation um, and you'll be generating javadoc and NetBeans. So uh, this section here explains how you can review uh, Java documentation in section 9.8 of Zybooks. And additionally, you'll be, have a video generating javadocs and NetBeans. It's a YouTube video that explains how to actually uh, generate the javadoc uh, um, files and uh, view them in your browser. And so you'll be submitting this javadoc folder with all of the HTML files inside of them to um, view the API documentation for your project. So here again is the expl explanation for the final project submission, the collection manager program. Um, it's important to consider all the feedback I've been giving you um, on the previous lab assignments and milestones and use those and make all the necessary changes for your final project. You also want to review the final project guidelines and rubric. This is extremely important as it explains all the um, uh, essential elements, critical elements that will be required um, for the final project. So there are a few bits and pieces um, that you'll still need to add in, even though you've completed most of it through the Stepping Stone Labs and the Milestone uh, assignments. There's still a few bits and pieces that you want to make sure that you have, uh, which will be explained in the final project's guidelines and rubric. So be sure you review that, review the rubric, and make sure that you've covered every aspect of the rubric as this is going to be used um, for when I grade the uh, final project. And another key aspect of this, again, is the um, first inline comments directed towards software engineers about design decisions to facilitate the program's ongoing maintenance. So you want to make sure that you've commented um, all of your code, all of the variables, um, instance variables, the classes, um, all the methods of the classes make sure everything is commented explaining uh, the reason why you made certain design decisions and uh, what the purpose of the various variables and methods are so make sure you fully comment the code this is extremely important as it's a big part of your grade um, also you want to uh, again use javadoc you're going to generate javadoc and this is the api documentation for your programmatic solution directed toward other software developers so again you have a video that explains how to generate this javadoc um, documentation so this is a very important and um, you want to make sure you read section 9.8 of Zybooks first and then uh, generate your javadoc um, documentation and you'll be submitting uh, what this does is create a folder called javadoc and you'll be submitting this folder with your final project so you'll have your so for your final project submission you're going to be submitting your ingredient class that dot, dot java file your recipe class so that dot java file um, your recipe box class that dot java file and the driver class so that dot java file so you'll have four different classes um, and then additionally you're going to have your javadoc folder so your javadoc folder is going to contain your api documentation um, which you generated uh, through netbeans so you'll have these five elements that you'll be submitting you'll be zipping up into one single zip file and submitting and i'll explain um, a little bit how to do that in a second so let's look at the final projects guidelines and rubric so here again is the final project guidelines and rubric um, you'll be building off the milestones the two milestones that you uh, worked on in modules five and seven the ingredient class and the recipe class so you'll be building on these as well as the most recent one the recipe box um, class that you worked on in Stepping Stone Lab 6. So you'll be building off these assignments and submitting your final project here in Module 9 this week. So I just want to go over a few key aspects of 
um, this final project. So again, you're going to have three main classes, the uh, uh, recipe class, the ingredient class, and the entire collection of recipes, which is the recipe box class. Additionally, you'll have the driver class, right, which will um, call the menu method of the recipe box class and, uh, and be used to actually allow the user to interact with the program. So just make sure you've covered um, all the different methods and variables, instance variables of all the classes. So that is all explained here in this UML diagram. So you want to go through these, each of these UML diagrams for each class and make sure you've covered um, each of these uh, uh, points, each of the variables and methods. So again, you started this through your milestones and assignments and stepping stone labs. But again, this for your final project, you want to make sure you kind of connect all the docs, make sure everything is complete and you've covered all the aspects described here in this document. So one of these things is the ingredient class. So you want to make sure that you have all of these different variables and all these different getter and setter methods along with the add ingredient method um, seen here. And you want to make sure you're using the exact same um, input uh, parameters and uh, return types as uh, specified. So same with the recipe class, you want to make sure you have these recipe uh, variables as well as all these getter and setter methods and these uh, two custom methods. And same with the recipe box class, you want to make sure you have this variable, instance variable, um, along with the getter and setter methods uh, and um, all of its uh, custom methods. And again, you all want to make sure you have the correct uh, constructors for each of these, each of these uh, uh, classes. So another key thing you want to just make sure that you uh, modify if you have not already is for the recipe ingredients list of the recipe class. Um, it wasn't required to have an array list of ingredient objects before a lot of people were using array list of strings just holding the ingredient names. But for this final project, you want to make sure you have you use an array list of ingredient objects. So this recipe ingredients variable we should be defined as an array list of an ingredient object the ingredient object being the um, ingredient class that you created here so that's one key element that you should make sure you um, have uh, applied in your in your final project so then just make sure you read these um, these uh, instructions so you want to make sure that you're in your menu you're able to not only just display the recipes and the details of the recipe, but you also want to make sure you can edit a recipe and delete a recipe. So deleting a recipe should be pretty straightforward. Again, you're just removing this recipe from the recipe ingredient uh, from the uh, list of recipes list. Okay, so you're deleting the recipe um, that selected from the list of recipes list. So for editing an item, uh, you can get as uh, to go into as much detail as you want with this um, aspect of the of the project so at the minimum you should be able to at least select a recipe in the list of recipes list and simply change its properties so either change its name servings uh, in, or ingredients and thereby changing the total recipe calories so how you want to do this is up to you but you should be able to modify uh, recipe properties uh, and then again, you want to make sure you generate your Java doc documentation, your API doc documentation, you know, submitting this Java doc folder in your final um, submission. And then just make sure you've covered all of these critical elements, data types, algorithm control structures, um, methods, uh, classes, etc. Uh, reference documentation, again, using Java doc. So you want to make sure you covered all of these critical elements to so read through these and make sure all these are covered. Um, again, this just notes what we went over in the different milestones. So again, milestone one was the ingredient class. Uh, milestone two was the recipe class. And now we're doing the final submission, which is where we're kind of polishing all of these different uh, classes and making sure everything connects, including a driver class to actually run the, the program, um, etc. So we're sort of connecting all the dots here for this final project submission. And here is the rubric. So again, please make sure you review all of the different critical elements of the rubric and make sure you've addressed each one in your final project. Again, this is what is being used to grade your final project. So as long as you cover each of these uh, different aspects, each of these different critical elements, uh, you'll be fine. So uh, make sure you read through the, each of these uh, elements of the rubric 
and make sure you've covered um, each element. So that is um, all with the final project. So I just want to quickly go through uh, how to generate the Java doc um, documentation. Even though you have a video of this already, I want to further show you um, how to actually access the Java doc folder and then use it, um, copy it for uh, submitting with your final project. Okay, so let's assume this is my final project, my final project collection manager. Um, I have my ingredient class, my recipe class, my recipe box class, and unit test, this is my driver class. Okay, so I have all the classes I need. I've completed them all. They all I've tested uh, everything to the unit test and everything works. So now I'm going to generate my um, Java doc uh, uh, documentation. So to do that, uh, we want to go to run, and then we're going to go to generate Java doc. And it's, you'll see the name of your final project here. And you can see it's working. And there you go. So now um, you'll see this is what the uh, website HTML file that's generated. So you see, if you notice up here, uh, there's a path now to my final project and where the Java doc folder is. And this is displaying the index.html, but there are other files in this Java doc folder that are needed to enable in it to actually display all of this information. So you'll be actually submitting this Java doc folder altogether. And notice that it's located in this dist folder of my final project. So let's just go through real quick how you would actually submit this. Notice here I've navigated to my final project folder, final project underscore collection manager. And this is the dist folder that was created and the Java doc folder that was created. Inside of this, there's all these uh, HTML files and related JavaScript files. All this stuff related for the uh, API documentation. You actually will uh, run this index.html in your browser. And all these are sort of helper files and folders for this index um, for this home page. Um, so, so what you need to submit is just this Java doc folder, right? So you're going to submit everything in the Java doc folder. So you submit this Java doc folder with your final project. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to, how you would do this. You're going to copy this Java doc folder. I have a submit folder where I'm going to put all my files and folders where, that I'm going to zip up and submit as my final project submission. So I'm going to paste this Java doc folder here. And then now I have my Java doc folder. So the other pieces um, that I need to submit for my final project are the four different uh, classes, right? The four different .java files, the recipe uh, .java file, the ingredient .java file, recipe box .java file, and my driver uh, class .java file. And so I'm going to go to those which are under source, final, and I'm going to copy all of these files and put them back in the submit folder. And there you go. So now these are all of the different fi uh, files and folder that I'm going to be submitting. So I'm going to copy those. I'm going to say send to zip folder. And I'm going to name this final project. And there you go. This is the zip file that I'd be submitting. So I hope this helps uh, with preparing, um, working on your final project and submitting your final project. If you have any questions, as usual, please reach out. Um, please start early. Uh, again, you don't want to wait till the last minute to try to get everything working. I'd be happy to help if you want to um, send over your code. I'd be happy to help you debug or whatever problems or issues may be facing. Please reach out early and I'd be happy to help. Um, please let me know if you have any other related questions. Thanks.